Hey, what's up, cats and kittens? Madman is here. Whew. Hell of a live stream, huh? My head was buzzing afterwards, but it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. Every minute of it. Now, something I noticed, I went back and watched a little bit of the live stream. It was very choppy indeed, like a lot of you had mentioned. Um, cut in and out in a few places, very choppy. The image was very laggy and very slow. I know this. I'm still getting used to the software that I was using and I'm going to have to tinker with it and alter it a little bit to make it work better for future live streams. So hang with me on that. All right. Okay. On to tonight's topic. And that topic would be what is a poser and how to spot one to first understand what a poser is. We're going to have to sit down and look at the word poser. What does it mean? A poser is a person who pretends to be something that they're not. They're posing as something that they are not. For instance, actors. Actors are a great, uh, a great example of what posers are, but they get paid to be posers for our entertainment. So we kind of just wipe that off to the side. Another example of posers are politicians. They pretend to be smart and understand what they're doing and have no clue about either of it. That's where the laughs come in. That's the cue. Where's the, where's the laughs? <laughs> there we are. The word poser has been thrown around for a very long time, and I hear it now more than ever. And I must admit that me and my friends, when we were in high school, we were guilty of throwing that word around at different people. But as I got older and I matured, I learned that that wasn't the right way to go about it. And I'll explain why. When you throw the word poser around at people constantly, instead of building them, you are breaking them down and it's negative. For example, say you got your clique of guys or maybe you're by yourself and you see somebody who looks to be a greaser, rockabilly, hepcat, you know, whatever and you decide that it's a good idea to maybe hurl that term at them because maybe they don't have the right boots on or their shirt is not proper or the jeans don't quite look right or something's off with their hair. That's not a reason to call somebody a poser. Most likely they've just started greasing and they don't know a whole lot about what they're doing. See, Every time we get to interact with one another is an opportunity to teach and to learn. The better way of going about it would be to talk to them, see what their, what their thoughts are, communicate. That's one thing that seems to be going down in this generation, sadly, is one-on-one -on -one communication. But I digress. Back on point! Sit down with them. Talk to them understand where they're coming from most likely they just started and they don't know much about it that's where you step in to educate to show them to guide them i mean hell what the hell is this channel all about the one i'm doing right here the one i'm on hey how's it going out there it's to educate it's to try to help further the style that we all come to know and love throwing around the word poser does nothing but make them feel like shit and embarrass them and actually probably would turn them away from the style altogether. So take the time to educate one another. Bring your brothers up. Now, let's look at another side of the coin. Someone who's a poser is ignorant. Everybody's ignorant. You, me, them, Everybody, we're all ignorant about something. Ignorance means that you don't know. That's all it means. It's not even an insult. Someone's like, oh, you're ignorant. Yeah, you're right. You are too. <laughs> now, stupidity is a whole other thing. Ignorance versus stupidity. Ignorance means that you don't know. Stupidity means you can't know or you don't want to know. And stupidity is 100% fatal.
if you encounter somebody that looks like a greaser and you talk to them and they don't know their shit and you try to show them and teach them bring them along and they just don't listen or they just don't give a fuck and don't want to listen that's a poser a poser is somebody who doesn't know that goes around proclaiming that they know everything about it or they just don't give a shit to know anything about it and continue to pose as what they think they are you'll know a poser if you're perceptive in the first five minutes of meeting them just by giving a basic quiz about the greaser style about hair products about the music about key musicians that made the style popular you know key uh, celebrities and figures that boosted the style along that put it out there for everybody to see like a Marlon Brando or a James Dean you know key figures understanding the culture the thinking the ideology behind it you know the cars the music the hair products you know the whole thing and if they don't know then you teach you show them give them examples you know a lot of you cats always ask oh there's not a lot of greasers where I live and how can I get more people involved in the style that's how you do it by putting it out there by showing them and by being a power of example by living by what you're all about being a living example and educating so now that leads me to maybe some of you cats are, are young and you maybe don't have the right clothes and you're trying to learn and maybe you don't know a whole lot about the music but you're interested in learning more how not to be a poser listen and learn this leads me to the next point how not to be a poser I know there's probably a lot of young cats maybe even older guys that are maybe my age a little older a little bit younger that are seeing this for the first time or have seen it they're interested in it they want to learn but they don't quite know where to start the way to not be a poser is to listen and learn eyeballs and ears need to be on point this needs to be shut all of us started somewhere I started what a pair of frickin' jeans, some combat boots, a flannel shirt, and a leather jacket that was not very retro, and putting Vaseline in my hair. Did I get called a poser? Fuck yeah. Sure did. And you know what I did? I watched, I listened, I kept my mouth shut, and I learned. And I would ask questions if I wasn't sure about something. Remember, you're hanging out with other greasers, you're going to pick things up as you're there. You watch videos like this one, you're going to pick up tips, you'll see, you'll hear, and then maybe you'll watch other channels and you'll see that they're doing the same types of things, they're talking about the same types of things. Those are the things to watch for. Look for similarity. Once you figure that out, then you can start incorporating it into your own style. Maybe one month you buy the boots, and then the next month you buy a jacket, or six months you buy the jacket. Maybe you just stick with flannels or a dicky jacket until you can get a leather one. It doesn't matter. The whole thing is how not to be a poser is to basically just learn and develop yourself. Always keep an open mind and keep developing. Now, if you start with the whole, oh, I know what I'm doing, I'm, 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 I don't need to fucking learn nothing, fuck off, you know, eat shit, fucking whatever, they're going to call you a poser because now you're just being stupid as fuck. Anyway, I hope those were some helpful tips. You guys learned a little something about it. Remember, we all started somewhere. If you like this video and other ones just like it, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, the whole nine. And as always, if you don't know, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo, hang loose, be safe, and the madman is out.